Now let's look at a shadow problem that increases the level of difficulty just a bit. In this case, Emma is standing in front of a flagpole. Emma's shadow is two units long, and the flagpole's shadow is five units long. Emma is three units tall. How much taller than Emma is the flagpole? So we are not being asked for the height of the flagpole. We are being asked for the difference in height between Emma and the flagpole. When we are dealing with two similar triangles like this, the key is, as usual in word problems, to take the thing that is being asked for in the end, this difference in height, and make that your x. Here we have a two unit shadow and a five unit shadow. Those are two numbers we know, and they are similar. So we will put them together with the smaller one on the top. The two and the three are in the same triangle, so they have to be together as well. So that means I'll put my three on the top. X is not one of the sides in either of the two triangles, but X plus three is the upright side in the larger triangle. So I can write x plus 3 here. This is a little tricky, but what I'm doing is I am including an algebraic expression inside my proportion. And this will work. Cross multiplying, top times bottom gives me 2 times x plus 3 equals bottom times top, which is 5 times 3. 2 times x plus 3 is 2x plus 6. And 5 times 3 is 15. If I move the 6 to the other side, I end up with 2x equals 15 minus 6. And therefore, 2x equals 9. Finally, if I divide both sides by 2, I can isolate my x. And x is equal to 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. No unit of measure was given in the problem. So I like to write the word units as my unit of measure. The flagpole is 4.5 units taller than Emma. Even though the x we're looking for is not the side of one of the triangles we're dealing with, we can take the x and the 3 and we can combine them into this algebraic expression and solve our problem anyway using a direct proportion. It is important also to realize that, once again, we can be asked to find this missing measurement as our final answer. But we could also be asked to find the proportion that could be used to find this difference in height between the flagpole and Emma. In this case, this equation is that proportion. Now we will up the level of difficulty in our shadow problems one last time. In this case, it is Julian who is standing against a flagpole. Julian is 1.5 meters tall, and the flagpole is 4 meters tall. We're going to measure the shadow of both, but all we have time to do is measure the difference between the top of the flagpole's shadow and Julian's head's shadow is 3 meters, and then the sun goes behind a cloud and it looks like it's going to stay there. So, how are we going to figure out the length of Julian's shadow? We will use the usual strategy for a direct proportion. We can see that 1.5 and 4 are similar sides in the two triangles that can be drawn in this situation. So we put 1.5 and 4 together, smaller number on top. The x, which is what we're looking for, has to be together with the 1.5 because they are two sides in the smaller triangle. So I'll put the x here on the top. But to express the side length of shadow of the larger triangle, the only way I can do that is to make an algebraic expression, x plus 3. This looks tricky because we have x appearing twice in our proportion. But that's okay. We followed all of the rules of using the sides of the similar triangles, and this should still work. So let's go ahead and solve it. Top times bottom gives me 1.5 times 
times x plus 3, and bottom times top gives me 4 times x. Simplifying, this becomes 1.5x plus 4.5 equals 4x. If I move the 1.5x to the other side of the equals, I get 4.5 equals 4x minus 1.5x. Of course, 4x minus 1.5x is 2.5x. And now, if I divide both sides by 2.5, these cancel. My x is isolated and is equal to 4.5 divided by 2.5, which is 1.8. Since the unit of measure I was using all along was meters, my final answer is 1.8 meters, if I am asked to find the length of Julian's shadow. But if I am asked to give the proportion that could be used to find the length of Julian's shadow, this equation over here is that proportion. Either way, I have covered the answer. These examples show several different types of two shadow problems and give you a strategy for solving them.